All right, are you looking to go from this to this? If so, then I think you might have came to the right place. This is Unbreakable Patches, and welcome to the second video in my For Honor Character Counter Guide. So today we're going to be focusing on the Peacekeeper, and I'm going to start this video highlighting some of the things that can make her such a nuisance to fight, and some of the things you can do to negate them. So the first thing I'm going to point out, which I'm sure you guys already know, is that she is incredibly agile, and with her extreme mobility and a pretty crazy counterattack potential, defeating her is going to require you to adapt a very calculated playstyle. Now the, the Peacekeeper has approximately a metric shit ton of options that allow her to adapt to nearly any situation. So admittedly, it gets a little intimidating when you're trying to keep track of what choices are available to her at any given time during a fight, but I'm going to do what I can to help you out with that. So to start off, at the end of any successful strong attack, if she uh, times a properly timed light attack, she can do an unstoppable poison poke. On top of that, for the first two attacks in the chain, if she does a strong attack for either one of them, she can cancel out of those and go straight into the poison poke, or she can do a grab. Now, as far as I can tell, the poison poke is damn near impossible to parry. So, for that reason, I would actually recommend that you try to block the first two attacks of her attack chain. Uh, I wouldn't go for the parry just because in case uh, it is a juke, you're going to end up doing a heavy attack and she's going to end up grabbing you or hitting you with the poison poke. Either way, it's not going to end well, so I would not try to parry the first two attacks if you could. Uh, so I'd block the first two attacks, and then if you're confident in your parry abilities, go ahead and try to parry the third attack. As far as I can tell, the Peacekeeper cannot cancel out of the third attack, so that one's actually relatively safe to parry. So now the Peacekeeper has some crazy sidestep attacks, and this is one of the main reasons I recommend uh, adapting a very defensive playstyle when fighting against a high-level PK player, because a good PK can and will punish you for initiating an exchange with her incredible uh, deflect and sidestep poison poke attacks. It's also worth noting that uh, a peacekeeper, they can go for a grab if they get a successful deflect, but right now at, the, at this point in the game, uh, there's absolutely nothing you can do if somebody gets a deflect on you. You're gonna take damage, and there's just not much you can do about it. So one of the PK's only weaknesses is that her mid to long range game is very predictable. When she is out of melee range, you can expect one of two things from a peacekeeper. She'll either go for you with her dashing forward attack, which is always going to strike from above, or her dashing grab. So in order to counter this, when she's out of range, I wouldn't recommend trying to dodge her attacks. I would just keep your guard high, block the attack, but be ready to perform a guard break if she decides to do that instead. I wouldn't recommend trying to sidestep the attack, even though if she does her leaping attack, it will work. However, if she decides to do her uh, her grab instead, you being inside of that dodging animation is just going to guarantee uh, the success of that grab. So now, one of the worst things I think, personally for me, that can happen when you fight a peacekeeper is that you find a really good peacekeeper who's willing to play the waiting game with you and wait for you to attack. When this happens, uh, feints are going to be your best friends. If the peacekeeper seems incredibly patient, try doing a side attack feint and see if she takes the bait. If so, she's either going to dodge into your feint to try to get that uh, that deflect, or she's going to do a heavy and attempt to parry. So just block whatever attack she throws and counter with it if you're able to get her to take the bait. There's a few things you can do to like kind of make the enemy more likely to take your bait, but that's a pretty long topic. Uh, perhaps I'll get into that in another video. But basically, against passive peacekeepers, you're going to have to think outside of the box. Uh, feints are going to be your best friends to get them to kind of th kind of throw them off of their game. So. I'm going to go over a few tips here that are going to be a little bit more character specific. So, uh, in my opinion, the best choice is to beat the PK. If you know you're going to fight a PK and you're equally skilled with all the classes, I would say you're going to want to be either a Nobushi, a Kensei, a Berserker, or preferably the Warlord. So the Nobushi and Kensei, I like them because they're effectively, they're able to zone the PK out of uh, her striking distance with, uh, they have some really quick long range attacks that they're able just to keep her away and that's that's half the battle with the peacekeeper you know and the berserker he's a little bit more arguable i could see if people don't really think he's a counter but the the peacekeeper has that the weaker guard where she can't hold the guard in one position for too long if you uh, try to defend in one position eventually the guard's just going to drop off so what you can do as the Berserker, actually, with their infinite combo, you can just focus one side on the Peacekeeper to keep hammering that one side with your infinite combo, and eventually her guard's going to break and let you get a couple attacks through. Now, 
the uh, the warlord I picked him as the best counter against the peacekeeper personally just because uh, he can actually out counter the peacekeeper if he's very skilled he can beat the peacekeeper in the counter game even with his low mobility plus the, the the warlord gets hyper armor during his heavy attacks that means you can't flinch him when he's doing his heavy attacks and he can really punish a peacekeeper with that if once he gets his timing down now if I had to pick the hardest matchups versus the peacekeeper uh, I think I would say the, the conqueror is probably gonna have the hardest time with the peacekeeper just because it's gonna be so hard for him to pin down a really good uh, peacekeeper player the conqueror can definitely win just by picking his shots at the right moment but it, it's definitely not easy I'm also not a huge fan of like a, the Peacekeeper versus the Orochi. Just because the Orochi is a class that uh, he performs best when he's able to outmaneuver his opponent. And the problem here is that the Peacekeeper does a lot of the same things the Orochi does, just arguably better. Uh, Victory is definitely not too far out of reach with the Orochi, but I think I would put him at a slight disadvantage. So now, kind of as a final tip here, this is more like one of my, one of my uh, mind state things. But one of the best things that you can do versus a peacekeeper is just try to stay calm under heavy pressure. When you're fighting a really skilled PK, uh, it can get very easy to get overwhelmed or flustered by the speed and diversity of their attacks. But just do your best to try to stay calm, try to stay collected, and just focus on blocking the next attack or tech or teching the next throw. Uh, just try to get some time to collect your thoughts. Beating the PK requires a lot of focus on your part, and it, it kind of demands a pretty fast reaction time too. So any sort of panic that you might feel, uh, that's only going to increase the amount of time that it takes for you to react. And even with all this information that I've given you, you still might struggle against a peacekeeper. And the only thing that's going to change with that is going to be more practice. Me personally, I feel as if the peacekeeper, even with their low HP pool, is probably one of the best characters in the game at the moment due to her diverse kit and her ability to adapt to nearly any situation. But still, the character is only as good as the player that's playing it, and nobody is perfect. So, now I'm sorry I wasn't able to get like a ton of relevant footage for this video. I think after I made this video, I came up with a process where, uh, for all my future videos, they should be out a lot more cleaner, cleaner and I should be able to have a process where uh, I get footage that's relevant to my video and stuff like that. But I, I did my best to explain everything in a way that would uh, make sense to people even without the footage lining up. Also, I know this guide is a bit different than my Shigoki guide, and that's because with the Shigoki there are clear and concise answers to every move that he has. The answers versus the Peacekeeper are not, not half as simple. So if you guys know any other tips or tricks on how to even counter the Peacekeeper, let me know in the comment section. Also let me know what class you guys would like me to counter next, on, or cover next on my counter guide. And I'm sure you guys already know, but I appreciate all the love that you guys gave me on my last video. And uh, I hope this one is just as informational for you guys. As always, if you guys like the content, uh, drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And every new sub or like that I get goes a huge w way since I'm such a brand new channel. So uh, just thanks for checking out my video. And I hope it uh, helps some of you guys start winning a little bit more versus Peacekeepers. So for now guys, peace out.